to my channel, it's me, Seven Way. For today's video, I decided I would do a how I lost my virginity because none of y'all like any of my other story times unless they're sexual. And yes, I am calling you out. You better go back and watch them. To start this off, I want to leave a very big sorry to my editor who's gonna have to watch this, who is younger than me and is literally my friend who probably doesn't want to know any of this information. If you end up liking today's video, make sure you leave a big thumbs up. If you don't, then you're homophobic. To set the scene, me and my first ever boyfriend, I don't want to say first ever, but he was my only boyfriend. We decided that we were going to ride Wait, me and my boyfriend decided that we were gonna go on a road trip with my sister back to her college town, Valdosta, if you know what it is. All we had done at this point was like, BJ's and stuff. Try to keep it as PG-13 as possible, but there's no way this video is gonna be PG-13. I gave him a BJ on the ride there, and my sister didn't even know. We're so bad. I hate myself for this. So we ended up getting there. Things are going good, going great. We ended up meeting my sister's two roommates. So they have a living room, like a mini living room, and then they had a room to our right where we slept, and then a room to our left, which was my sister's room, and then there was a room in the back. My sister low-key knew, because she, you know, she's older than me. She's like, I know how this goes down. I'm gonna come, and I'm gonna have sex because their children. So she put me and him in the living room by ourselves so that we could have that alone time because at my mom's house, which is where we were staying before we went on this road trip, there was no alone time. My mom knew what was gonna happen if she left us in a room together, so she didn't. So we went to her house and we were sleeping in the living room on this little tiny air mattress. It was a twin size air mattress in the corner of her living room. My sister and my brother are sleeping in her room while her roommate is sleeping in the room across, which is next to where our air mattress is. And then there's another roommate who we don't even know who she is. There was six people there that night that could have caught us. Thank God no one did because that would have been horrendous. To start it off, it's nearing nighttime and everyone's going to bed because we had went on a long drive that day and decided that it was bedtime. So we're laying in bed and we just knew that if it was going to happen, it had to happen here. We decided that we were going to try. Well, if you know anything about gay sex, you would know that you need lube. It's very important. Without it, it's practically impossible. Actually, it's not. It's really not. You could use spit, but that's gross. See, I'm so sorry. How am I a porn star and I get like grossed out explaining having sex with someone? That's just so weird. I've literally posted videos of me having sex, but explaining it is just gross. We were trying to figure it all out, and then I, my anxiety ass is like, no, we need non-scented lotion at least. We don't have any, and I know you have scented lotion, but that's gonna burn, so we can't use that, and I'm like, trying to get find any and every reason to get out of having to do this without saying I don't want to do it because if I say I don't want to do it then he's gonna think I don't like him so I'm like explaining every reason as to why we can't well he's like let me go check your ba sister's bathroom so he goes into my bath my sister's bathroom finds non-scented lotion and I told him that was the only way that it was gonna work and I was really praying to God that she did not have non-scented lotion but she did so he comes out with like a handful and he's like look what I found and I'm like what is that he's like non-scented lotion and I'm like which is exactly what was about to happen. <laughs> Fucking. First, he tries putting it in me, which I will say, I love how y'all be calling me a bottom, but nothing has proved that I'm a good bottom or that I even like it. I hated the first time I tried it, and then also it hurt, and I was not comfortable. And still to this day, I'm usually uncomfortable if I'm bottoming, unless I'm like really emotionally attached to that person. Bottoming is just not for me. I think I'm demisexual. No, literally, I'm pretty sure I am. Well, at that time I didn't know that, but so he's trying and it hurts and I'm like, girl, it's not happening. At this time too, I was very uneducated on the um, sex. And so I thought that if you put a pee pee and, and a booty, um, you were just gonna get diseases. I just thought that that's how it worked because all my life I was taught that gays are gross and that was why. Well, if you didn't know, <laughs> that's not how that worked. What's even worse is my naive ass was like, yeah, gay sex is wrong, but I'm gay, so I'll just date a man, we just won't have sex. <laughs> I don't know where my brain thought that was, like, good logic. So, he's topping me, and it hurts, and I'm like, yeah, girl, I don't know about this tonight, maybe not ever again, actually. He's like, well, you can put your pee, pee in me and see how that goes, and I was like, okay, bet. Why haven't we thought of that one? I go into my sister's bathroom, I get me a handful of lotion, and I put it on, of course, 
the PP and I put the PP in him as you do in sex if you didn't know and it works perfectly fine like literally he's enjoying it I'm kind of enjoying it even though like I have a full-on panic attack going on. I'm like shaking and he keeps asking me why I'm shaking and I'm like oh I'm cold but that wasn't why I was shaking I was shaking because I have anxiety whatever I don't finish because um I'm having a full-on panic attack and there was not I wasn't that wasn't gonna happen you know <laughs> she was not the move after that I get up and clean off or whatever and I went back out and he's like walking when I tell you watching him walk was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life because he's like struggling which honestly I don't know why he was struggling um because now thinking about it I've never struggled to walk after having sex but he did um but it was really weird. That was my first sexual encounter ever, and I will say it was pretty memorable. We had sex on a twin air mattress in my sister's living room at her college dorm. What was even crazier was after that, my sister's roommate walks out and she's like, I'll be right back, don't lock the door. And we're like, okay. And she comes back in with a mail, and then they start going at it in the room. So that night just must have had something in the air because everyone was ducking. Um, so if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave a like and comment down below more videos you would like to see. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching this whole video and I can't wait to see you next time. All of my social media is It's Evan Wade. If you're 18 years or older and want to follow me on OnlyFans, it's also OnlyFans.com slash so Wade. Love you all. Bye.